themes in Suzanne Collins' work is about ancient Rome. Do yeah. you think that helped you get into the mindset of the kind of character you were playing? A bit. I mean, I think it's more about... Yeah, it is ancient Rome as seen by, you know, like contemporary reality TV in a way. Yeah. So it does help a bit, but more like people watching... People trying to make great TV about other people's misfortune is a very contemporary thing. Yeah. Did you watch a lot of reality TV or did you uh, imitate any kind of commentators or broadcasters? Uh, well, not reality TV so much. I thought it was more like ESPN, you know, those sort of those sort of sports commentators. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you were actually going for a sports commentator then? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Any clues as to who? No, no, those guys who do American football, all of that, that stuff, I find that all very interesting. You know, th those guys who sit there, you hear them pondering on everything. So there's no temptation to go a bit of Murray Walker style or anything? No, no, Murray Walker didn't cross my mind. That film is yet to be made. I heard you improvised a lot as well. All of it. I mean, all we it. were able to... He was very relaxed about the script. Are you anything like your character Yeah, I know. No, just physically. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all the fans I talked to today seem most excited to see you. How important was it to you to play such a strong female character that so many readers look up to? I mean, I, I was thrilled that a character like that could get grabbed so much attention. She has such substance and she's a good role model and she's an iconic character. Are you at all concerned about, sort of, you've done a lot of independent and smaller films. Are you at all concerned that doing something this big might make up producers of those films not consider you because you're now out of their league? Um, I'm still doing indies and I'll, I always will and if they don't hire me I'll just make my own. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Fans? Hello. Yes. Okay, good. Um, so, um, the, the adaptation of Hunger Games could have been so much different. How important was it to you to pick the right people for the job to maintain the, the themes and the tone of the book? Because it could have been so much different in another person's hand. Well, you know, I love the books as much as any fan. When I read them, I could not stop thinking about them. I couldn't imagine not being the person who got to produce them. It, I found it unbearable to think that anybody else might get to be that person. And so I was able to win over Suzanne and to earn her trust. And so I felt that we really needed to find a filmmaker in Gary Ross who was fundamentally a character-based storyteller. I think that the power of these books is in Katniss and in her point of view and the way in which she grounds it everything and makes it feel like it's happening to you and she's so human um, she's so authentic and so with Gary I felt like we had a director who would always tell the story um, in a way that was coming from the characters and not happening to them um, and so and then when we found Jen and Josh and Liam I, you know we really had along with our adult cast people who could bring life to these characters and the dimensionality that they deserved. You've got to be uh, sort of laughing at the moment, tracking for the biggest opening in uh, of anything. I, I, I'm still marveling at it. I'm just so thrilled that so many people are so excited to uh, see an adaptation of a book that I love so much and that everybody else seems to be loving too. I presume the sequels are a sure thing now. Uh, well, I don't ever believe in a sure thing. If everybody shows up and loves the first movie, we'll be there with more. But uh, ultimately, audiences really decide what makes a franchise, not anybody but them. When, when, will, you get, sorry, when will you get the go-ahead for the next one? Like, um, will it be an opening weekend? Well, we're working on the script, and we're, we have a release date, so as long as everybody shows up, we should be in good shape. <laughs> you're uh, obviously in the UK, it's been trimmed by a few seconds. And I'm curious, as a producer of the film and having the distributor trim it, what are your thoughts on it? And what are your thoughts on sort of the logic behind it? The changes are very modest, and ultimately, you know, the book is published by Scholastic for 12 and up. And it was important to us to make a movie that, you know, the kids who first discovered this book and turned it into this phenomenon, it's since crossed over, but it all started with these young people who love the book so much. And so it was important for us to make a movie that they could see. It was written for them, it was made certainly to be enjoyed by everybody, but we would never have wanted to make a version that, that they couldn't be a part of. Um, I mean, the thing I related to most was, you know, he's so passionate about not siding with these games. He doesn't want anything to do with it. And I think if I was in that situation, I'd be doing the same thing. So, yeah. Did you ever have a discussion with Suzanne Collins about the character of Gill? Did she give you any insights? 
I spoke to her uh, right before we started shooting, and, and you know, she, she, we, we spoke for a little while, and she told me about the character, and, and, and you know, I kind of told her how I saw the character, and yeah, and she, she's wonderful. You think Chris has come along tonight, obviously, to yes. support you. Yep. How do you sort of? How do you tend to sort of get? Of him. Yeah, I mean, he, he's six and a half years older than me, and, and I, I, you know, I think I'm doing this job because of him, and, and I've I've learnt a lot of what I know from him. Um, he, you know, I'm, I'm so fortunate to have someone like him who's been through a lot of it before, and uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's one of my biggest role models. Does he sure. still rip on you because you're his little brother? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I give it back though. <laughs> so, Hi guys. Jennifer gave you a concussion. She did. Nice. Yes. Are you already planning your retaliation prank for during Catching Fire? Ooh, I am not, but I should probably get started on it. I mean, you know, it was definitely an accident, but she has it coming. She'll get it. <laughs> yeah. How did you feel about taking such a big role in such major franchise? Were you worried about the fans? Not really, no. I mean, you know, I, I love the books. I love the character. I really connect with Peter on a lot of levels. Um, and I just want to make a good movie. And I, I want to make the fans happy, so I definitely think that that was there, but I wasn't, I wasn't too focused on it. You've got the fans behind you, they seem pretty cheerful. They are, they're pretty happy. What are you hoping they take away from the film? I just hope they're entertained. I hope they're entertained. I hope they're moved. You know, when I when I first saw the movie, it, uh, it's really powerful from the beginning to the end, and I just hope they go along the ride like I did and really enjoy it. Sorry, here in the UK, we've got had to be uh, spending cuts on mm -hmm. young people's opportunities mm -hmm. to get into the film industry. Mm -hmm. What uh, advice would you give young people trying to get into it? I think you gotta persevere. I think no matter like if it's something that you really believe in and something that you're really passionate about, you just gotta keep on going and never take no for an answer. I think probably staying true to the book, but also making a good film. I think that a lot of times one or the other happens where they try to stay too true to the book and it kind of messes up the movie making process, or they go completely off the book and they don't have the same story at all. So kind of finding that balance is really important. They were fantastic. Everybody, Jennifer was amazing. Her and I had so many scenes together and. Both being from Kentucky, we kind of had an instant bonding factor. Uh, but yeah, everybody was fantastic from the top to the bottom. How do you think she's going to deal with the hype all of you surrounding her? I think she's going to do just fine with it. She's extremely humble, extremely down to earth, and, and very funny. And those that makes for a good combination, I think. Are you worried about how the public might react? What happens if they don't like the film? But they probably will. They're going to like it. They're going to like it. I've seen it, and, and I'm very, very proud of it. They're going to like it. How much have you improved as an actor um, throughout the film process? I think a lot. I think every movie I do, I improve as an actor. I think that especially getting work with actors like Woody Harrelson and Stanley Tucci, guys that I've admired all my life, um, it definitely makes you want to kind of step up your game and become better. Did they help you out a lot? Yeah, I think for me, just watching them, their process and just seeing how they kind of get into character. Yeah. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you.